Hey everybody, it's Gamer Grams here. The Civ 6 early game played with Caesar definitely builds you a strong foundation in domination games. And most people try to get the free settler from the Pantheon religious settlements for an even faster start. I'm not gonna lie, so do I. But since I play on Didi, I know that even with an amazing start, I'm not always gonna get the free settler. So actually, I plan to not get it and still have four cities up and running before turn 40. Buckle up and I'll show you step by step just how easy this is so you can try it out for yourself in your next game. Before we get started here, you should take a quick second to like the video. This way, you train YouTube to let it know you like watching content about the games you play and you definitely want to get better at them faster. Better yet, feel free to leave me a comment too while you're at it. That would definitely help a small channel like me grow. And clearly, if you know anything about me, I need all the help I can get. All right, here we go. I know what you're gonna say. There's fucking Mount Everest right there. This is gonna be a good start. Of course it's gonna be a good start. And I would say to that, yes, you're right. Of course this is gonna be a good start. There's Mount Everest right there. I mean, how the fuck could it not be, right? But I just couldn't not play this when I spawn next to it. So here we are, and we're just gonna go forward from here. So we're doing the early game build for Caesar. And honestly, he's fucking crazy powerful when it comes to domination. And we're gonna go through and explain exactly exactly how and why and the things that you should be trying to do when you're playing with Caesar. First thing we're going to do is actually move over and we're going to settle on the diamonds for turn two. The reason being is ideally in a perfect situation. I mean, yes, we have a god spawn here next to a world wonder that gives you faith, which is just unbelievably lucky. However, if you can, it's worth moving a tile or two to settle on a luxury so that you have that luxury to sell off as quickly as humanly possible. Right. So the Civ 6 Caesar build order here that I'm going to be focusing on starts with two scouts. We're going to open up and we're going to lock into this tile here because we definitely want to get a Pantheon as quickly as we can. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and gobble up this goody hut real quick here. And first off, tech-wise, we're going into Admiral Husbandry. The reason for this, even though we're going to be focusing on melee units, specifically going for legions, is because you want to unveil horses on your map as quickly as you possibly can because it makes finding a good location for your second city easier. Horse tiles are just automatically good tiles to have, so it just opens you up so many more possibilities when you're trying to find a good spot for your second city. Not to mention, too, it's on the way to archery, which is also a bonus. <laughs> okay. All right. This isn't fair. At this point, I, I almost sincerely feel like stopping and restarting this because there's going to be so many people that probably say, oh, this is fucking rigged, blah, 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 blah. All right. So you know what? We're going to go through, we're going to finish doing this because this is, I wanted to play this map anyway, we're doing it. But what I'll do is I will create, to show you how powerful this early game build is with Caesar, I will go and I'll play five games back to back and I'll focus on the build order and I'll show you exactly what happened in those five games just playing the ancient era or until I get the settlers, which you're going to see are a prime focus of this. And they're clearly not going to be a whole bunch of freaking stack games where we're starting next to a world wonder here. But anyway seeing as how we did we're definitely gonna go ahead and ooh, actually for that reason we're gonna switch to mining there's really not much i can do with these tiles so yeah we'll go mining first and then animal husbandry but in the meantime too i should be using the builder to explore a little bit while we have them just don't want to go too crazy by any means because me getting my builder captured <laughs> probably isn't the best of ideas right Okay, we got a uh, city-state up there. We did not get a first meet on them, so that definitely isn't the best. They want us to send a trade route, which is nice and easy to do, so that's something we can consider. However, because we didn't get the first meet on them, clearly there's somebody right around that area there, so we're going to actually head away from that with our units here, so that hopefully we can find more goody huts and a barbarian camp in a perfect world. Because that's essentially what we're searching for. Well, there's one out of two. We got goody huts. 
All right, so there's a Barb Scout. So there's definitely a camp down here somewhere. On that note, we're getting close to mining. I probably should have already headed back towards our territory there, but shoulda, woulda, coulda, I guess, right? All right, and like I said, we're gonna go for a second scout here. Meanwhile, we wanna make sure that we're working a good tile, and we are. We're already up to plus three faith, and we don't even have the God King policy card slotted in. All right, fingers crossed. <laughs> okay how do i not restart this this is absolutely fucking stupid all right so here we go the magic of youtube and all that that was too good of a start and here we are we're starting from scratch we're gonna <laughs> run it back because i could just imagine the comments saying like well of course it's gonna end up good look how you started blah 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 blah. yeah if you are interested in getting your hands on that actual save file though i did make a save after discovering the relic so you can either email me it's realgamergrams at gmail.com it's not fancy or anything like that either send me an email or or in our discord community i'll make a channel where you can go to grab different save files as i make more and more new videos now that i'm back on the channel again anyway we're gonna roll with us here so we're gonna move over and we're gonna be settling on the amber next turn we get a nice plus four food tile to work for fast growth too so i definitely like that and in the meantime, we'll start poking about with our warrior. We don't want to go too far because we're literally just looking for a barbarian camp. That is the name of the game, basically. It's the be all and end all. Meanwhile, here, we just double check and they are working the food tile, but we're gonna start with a scout. We'll be opening up double scout with this build. So again, it's gonna be double scout into a slinger followed by a settler and then after that most likely a monument into an encampment but you would definitely adjust as needed basically at that point meanwhile text wise we're going animal husbandry i can't even fucking talk tech wise we're going animal husbandry because it's just the number one tech to get for a good start because it gives you so many more options for settling city number two Definitely not having the start we did to the other game, right? <laughs> All right, let's head north with our scout. Okay, we got Admiral History and Code of Laws in the same turn. We're putting God King in and Survey. The reason behind God King, we want to get our Pantheon as quickly as possible. In a perfect world, we'd be finding religious city states or um, faith-based luxuries to get us that boost so that we can get the religious settlements Pantheon and get the free settler. That's the goal, but I mean, it doesn't always work out that way, right? Anyway, heading into mining next and foreign trade after the first civics. Tell you, Lady of the Reeds of Marshes doesn't look like it would be too bad, though, that's for sure. I'm gonna actually, actually, no. I'll head west with a second settler. All right. There's Scythia, and she's nice and close. That's just what you want for every start to your game. It does look like they had a barbarian camp up there, too, that they have been dealing with. I don't know if this scout is from that camp that they're fucking around with or not. Uh, hopefully it's not and there's still a camp up there for us to play with. I know I said I was gonna go west and I really do want to, however. Actually, I'll just use, use this one here and we're gonna go ahead and take the ranger promotion first. Okay, so we got 40 gold there and the barb camp spawned, which is nice and close to us. So that's really nice. We'll go up there and see if there is a barb camp before we start moving down. Uh, but meanwhile, like I said, I want to see what's over here because I think this is kind of where we're going to be trying to settle. 
Yeah, they must have got the camp already over here. It looks like there's a military state here. And we did get a first meet on them. And it's Woolen too. Nice. That is definitely a nice city state. We get great general points for killing shit. So they would definitely be nice to get a suzerain ship with fairly quickly here. All right. Meanwhile, we're heading for Settler next in the capital. And our slinger is going to start heading down to deal with that. I am going to swap out a foreign trade now, though. We're just about to get it to the point where it can be boosted. So we're going into craftsmanship next. All right, and so we're going to come over here and let them see us and let them come across the river and we'll attack there. And mining's done, so we're heading to bronze working next. We want to be able to get our encampment out fairly quick. Just a galley so they can't attack us. Okay, so it looks like we're at the bottom of the Pangea. I guess I could fucking throw the map tax in too, so we have a better idea. Ah, totally wrong. Okay, so good to know. We are definitely not at the bottom of the Pangea. <laughs> so we're going to hit them again here. Now, they shouldn't be able to kill us here, and then we'll take the promotion to heal up afterwards. Meanwhile, these are all barbarian galleys. They're not quadrants, so we're okay to stay on the coast there. So we'll go ahead and try and kill that unit. We'll actually get the kill with our scout next turn and take the promotion to heal up there. All right, so where are we going to settle? You know what? I think we take reeds and marshes. Like, look at this. Oh, I thought these were, they're just desert fucking floodplains. Okay, never mind. I got excited there. Not quite as good as I was thinking. However, still, there's some decent choices up here if we, as long as we get that. Yeah, I think we go for reeds and marshes. Yeah, I think we go read the marshes. There's two cities there that would be very nice locations. Give us a mix of chops and also nice tiles with the marshes factored in. I think we're in a good position here. Those will be our four cities as long as that Pantheon is there for us. But even if it's not, this is going to be our second city, which it'll give us lots of chops and shit regardless. So this will be the planned third city if we get our Pantheon and same thing there. But we can readjust these two cities if we don't get the Pantheon we're looking for. But I mean, again, in a perfect world, we get religious settlements. However, considering we haven't gotten any faith luxuries or religious city states, I'm not really holding my breath at this point. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take the promotion here and I'm taking garrison. The reason why is I want my, like archers are already good at against land units and, and such. We want them to be good against district defenses and cities. So that's why I like the right side of the promotion tree there. And that's honestly a, a, a recent change with me. I always used to take the left side of the tree like all the time. All right, there we go. We secured ourselves the cash with our scout so we'll grab some money next turn and be able to buy a settler okay well they had a nice start all right so we're gonna go ahead and raid the clan get 330 bucks and now we're gonna buy ourselves our first settler Meanwhile, we'll keep coming down with them. Take some free experience hitting a galley that can't hit us back. All right, so here we're going to move away 
so the spearman actually chases us and we'll back up here with our scout and we'll actually kind of sit and lurk there and see if we can lure him in and yes we can so we're definitely going to go ahead take a shot there smash him with our barb and we're going to run back with our scout and park our ass inside of the camp so again it's just a galley it can't hit us so we're not really worried nice we got the boost to archery and bronze working i'd like my warrior to be on that side of the river uh meanwhile we'll poke around here a little bit with our scout but now i'm actually more interested to come down and see what exactly is over here considering we're about to try and settle there we got six turns until we can raid it again meanwhile we're about to finish our settler there and now that we've finished our settler we're going into a monument because we want that early culture i think we'll settle this city next actually just because if we don't get that reeds and marsh pantheon at least the city still has the horses there that we can get up pretty quickly whereas this one's kind of not so appealing if we don't have the reeds and marshes pantheon so let's go ahead and head over there all right i'm actually gonna move my scout out and leave my archer or slinger there three more turns there for that Okay, we picked up bronze working i fucked up we definitely should have switched back <laughs> i mean whatever i didn't so i might as well finish craftsmanship since we're so close we're gonna start with a monument in our second city and now that bronze working is done we're headed towards archery we finished craftsmanship god king staying in because clearly we still haven't got our pantheon yet i'm just thinking because we're after the monument we're going to be working on our encampment so a goal gate doesn't matter but i could slot in the discipline card yeah i'll go ahead and slot in discipline and meanwhile here we're going to go for state workforce okay we picked up 40 gold there and it looks like there's actually another city state over here next turn we can go after them for some more gold there meanwhile here we're gonna go for a builder okay and they're just galleys again which is nice let's go ahead and raid them for some cash and now we actually have the cash that we need to buy our next settler and i think it's more important to buy this settler and have our four cities up and running real quick than to count on us getting this pantheon in two turns that's actually what we're gonna go ahead and do we're gonna go to rome or actually should we buy it no we'll get it in rome we don't want to cripple those cities but yeah so we'll come here and we're actually gonna buy that settler nice we got a relic that's two games in a row now i've got a relic and Matterhorn. That's not too shabby at all. If only there was some fresh water over there to build a city. Actually, you know what? That might not be such a bad... Eh, we'll think about it. As long as we can get reeds and marshes, which we should be able to find out real quick here, we'll settle there, but maybe otherwise we, we head over here. All right, so that was a dead end. Ouch. Oh, it killed them, not us. All right, we're gonna back the fuck away from that river and 
thank Jesus that our warrior is still alive. Uh, meanwhile, let's get away from them down there. There's Venice. We didn't get a first meet on them. We did boost foreign trade too, so that's finished now. Did we get religious settlements? Dun dun dun. And no, it's gone. So I'm glad that I made the choice that I did and hedged our bet. We bought that settler, so we still get our four city start, which we were really chasing. A second place trophy, we're gonna go with Lady of the Reeds and Marshes here. And I mean, take a look at this here. Let's pop this open. All right, so this city's gonna have four three two tiles that are very close, like within its second ring. This city is going to have two within its second ring, two. And I mean, our capital kind of misses out a little bit, but it's already up and established, right? So yeah, I think we're set up well here. That's definitely the route that we're going to go with. I mean, I, I will be honest, the Plantations Pantheon, like Goddess of the Festivals, would definitely be a nice choice here for the extra culture as well. But I think just the overall production here that we're going to get is definitely worth it. Okay, we boosted early empire there. We gotta remember to switch out of archery next turn so, so that we don't uh, lose the ability to pre-build our slingers there. In the meantime, our warrior can sit there and heal. We get back in to the camp there to sit on that for a little bit longer and go ahead and get our fourth city up. And we're starting with a builder there in that one as well. So there you go. That's not a bad opening at all. Turn 37 and we're sitting on four cities. I can definitely understand you saying, oh, well, things went pretty perfectly there. Sure, we didn't start with the fucking Mount Everest this time, but all in all, this was a good map for us to do it. So you know what? I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to make a video directly after this one. You can jump to it. I'll pin a link in the bottom of the comments where I'll specifically cover this build order in depth, step by step, but then I'll run it back to back five times and I'll play five different starts right quickly it'll be highly edited so it won't be me actually playing it like I have been here I'll just show you how strong this is again don't forget that this strategy I learned it from a Chinese player who used it to win a standard size domination game on standard time in 99 turns on deity it's a good strategy <laughs> and as you can see we're off to a good start here but like i said if you need even more proof or you just want to specifically hone in exactly on the early game caesar build order itself then definitely check the pinned comments it'll be there otherwise if you haven't already please do me a favor and leave a like on the video it really does go a long way let me know what you think about this strategy down in the comments have you tried it before have you done something like it do you think there's something better what could that I change let me know I'd love to hear about it love to talk with you I'm gonna put two videos up here one of them is gonna be where we take a look at that same Chinese player where he won a game in 90 turns on deity difficulty another domination one with Cleo otherwise the second video is about five mistakes everybody seems to be making it in the early game and how you can easily fix them enough rambling from me I'm gonna shut up and I'll see you in the next video